I care about two things here. One, I care about inspiring people. And two, I care about getting people a future. And I'm looking at the people I'm trying to inspire and I'm trying to get a future for. And they don't even know what risk they're in. And they don't appreciate it. And they turn things into drama because they're not strong enough to, to withstand like all the voices of, you know, like if the Lancet says, well, this definitely didn't come from a, a lab in Wuhan. Well, who am I? I, you know, I guess the Lancet said it. It, it. It's important to recognize that we can inspire people. But if I can't even get you to wake up and I can't even get somebody in the government to, to, to understand ideas have consequences. Ulam and Teller's ideas have great consequences. Mm. We are not, Brian, I've spent a year, I, I've more or less told people why I believe there are three generations of fermions a year ago. I've not had a single physicist on planet Earth say, I want to talk to you about why you say there are three generations of fermions. I gave a reason why the world appears to be chiral, but actually is not chiral. Why it appears that the weak force, beta decay, uh, knows it's left from its it's right. Maximally violating of C. Yeah. Right. And I have not had one person come to me and say, I want to talk to you about that. Um, you think it's credentialism? You're not in no. academia. You're seen as an outsider. I get, I get literally no, no, no. a book. No, no, no. It's not me, Brian. It's not me. It's the field. When, when Peter White came out with his idea, um, which was to build it around uh, the group SU3, which has the strong communicates the strong force, which is what holds nuclei together when the protons want to run away from each other, packed in so tightly. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I made sure to read what he wrote and I called him up and he said, yeah, nobody's calling. Now I don't have to agree with him, but I at least right. understand what he did do. And I wanted to make absolutely sure that I grasped the general idea. What I'm trying to tell you is I knew that no one was going to much call Peter. No one is listening to each other. There's almost no one working on physics. And I, I think that that's the real statement is, is that the question is going to be, well, what did the community say? The community basically isn't doing physics. Go to your local uh, university's physics, you know, high energy theory seminar, and I challenge you to listen to a talk uh, and find anything that sounds like physics in it. In general, it sounds like, oh, we're, we're in six dimensions, we've got a, a, a compact, simple group, um, and we look at the following fields that nobody's ever seen in human history. We treat it supersymmetrically, even though we've never seen supersymmetry. We're not working.